welcome to maths tv today we will be going through maths paper 0580 feb march 2019 paper link and video index are provided in comments section question number 1 amol and priya deliver 648 par 45 parcels in the ratio given calculate the number of parcels a mole deliver so for this one we have to calculate sum of ratios will be 11 plus 4 which is equal to 15 so we need for a mole which is 11 so 11 over 15 multiply by this total 645 if we check with calculator we can do calculation so this will be 11 divided by 15 multiply by 4 uh, 6 45 which is equal to 473 B part Amol drives his truck at the average speed the speed is given he leaves at 7 and arrives at 11.15 so basically we have to calculate the distance and we know speed is equal to distance over time this implies uh, distance will be equal to speed into time and speed we know is 50 kilometers per hour and we have to check the time difference and time is 11:15 so 11 uh, 15 11 hours 15 minutes minus 7 hours will be equal to 4 hour 15 minute so 4 hours and 15 minutes will be multiplied by 50 so we can multiply by 50 we will get this number and we can change this format shift and shift and this button we can press and we will get decimal value 200 212. Five, so two hundred twelve point five. Similarly, C part Priya drives her van a distance of fifty four kilometers. She leaves at this time and arrives at this time. Calculate her average speed. We have to calculate average speed. similarly speed is equal to distance of ta- distance over time which is equal to 54 divided by time we have to subtract again we'll be using calculator to subtract time so 12 12 hours and 38 minutes minus 10 hours and 55 minutes will be equal to 1 hour and 43 minutes so we'll multiply basically we'll be dividing 1 hour and 30 um 4 minutes 1 hour and so 1 hour 30, 43 minutes we can shift this format and press twice you will get 1.716 so we can divide this one with 1.716 so uh, 54 54 divided by answer will be equal to this one we can this is 31 31.45 so this will be equal to 31.45 31.45 will be the answer kilometer per hour d part priya has 50 identical parcels each parcel has a mass of 17 kg correct to the nearest kilogram 
find the upper bound for the total mass of 50 parcels so we need to find the upper bound and 17 kg upper bound will be plus minus half kg so upper bound we can write it as 17.5 and upper bound of uh, we'll have to these are 50 identical parcels so 17.5 into 50 will be equal to 17.5 into 50 will be equal to 875 so 875 will be the answer e part 67 of the 645 parcels are damaged on the journey calculate the percentage of parcels that are damaged so 67 out of 645 are damaged into 100 for calculating percentage so we can calculate by using calculator 67 divided by 645 into 100 will be equal to 10.38 10.387 so we can write 10.4 F part 29 parcels 29 parcel each have a value of 68 dollar pound by writing each of these number correct to one significant figure find an estimate for the total value of 29 parcels so we'll have to round this one to one significant figure so which will be 30 because uh, this will be non-zero number and ending zero we are not counting for significant figures and 68 dollars will be rounded to 70 so this is also one significant figure this will be equal to 2100 so it will be 2100 dollars without doing any calculation complete this statement the actual total value of these 29 parcels is less than the answer to part f1 this one because um, both the numbers we have rounded both the numbers up like 29 is rounded to 30 and 68 is rounded to 70 so this number will be uh, will be higher than our estimate will be higher than actual value so we will write both the numbers are rounded up both the numbers are rounded up so this is the reason which you can mention Question number two, this uh, grid is given, describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle A onto B. Triangle A is given and B is also given. So we can check this diagram. So if you check this, these are a reflection of each other and if we check the difference between these two one two three four five units so middle will be 2.5 like for example here so if we check from x value for x value it will be 1.5 in between 1 and 2 so this is the line which we can uh, draw over here this will be mirror line which is x is equal to 1.5 this will be the mirror line which we can show over here so this is basically reflection of triangle a so we will be writing as reflection reflection at x is equal to 1.5 this will be the line 
and second part triangle A on to C. So A on to C will be, if we check, this is A, triangle A and C. So this is basically rotated. So we'll use tracing paper for this and we can draw coordinate axis like for example a rough sketch of coordinate axis so that we can check these are the coordinate axis and this is our triangle A which we can trace this is A we need A on to C so we will be rotating for example if we check from origin this is not fitting so we will check from here which is this point so this is also not fitting so we can check another point if we check this point from here it is exactly fitting so this point is 0 minus 1 so this is our center of rotation basically 0 minus 1 so when we will write the answer for part 2 we will write here rotation rotation about the point which is 0 and minus 1 and 90 degree clockwise, anti-clockwise. If you check again, I will show you the same tracing paper I am putting here. So, we took center as this one and rotated anti-clockwise like this and it was 90 degree rotation so 90 degree anti-clockwise about that origin next question is on the grid draw the image of triangle a after an enlargement of scale factor minus one by two and uh, this will be uh, 3 and 0 is the origin so the center is 3 and 0 will go to the graph and basically grid and we will draw center 3 and 0 is this one and we can draw the lines so here we can draw a line like this one and then from this point as well passing to through 3 and 0 and the last line will be from this vertex of the triangle this will be our uh, three lines and we have to go to the minus side and then we can figure out the triangle triangle will be over here this point and this point and this point we can draw triangle and this one and this one so this will be enlargement by scale factor minus 1 by 2 and center will be 3 and 0 Second part, triangle A after translation by vector, this one three, minus 3 and 1. So, we will translate the triangle A which is over here. So, this triangle A will be translated by three minus 3 and 1. So, minus 3, this point will be moved to the left side, 1, 2, 3 and 1 unit up. So, this will be our new point and i can circle this so you can identify this point will be moved minus three minus one minus two minus three and one unit up so this will be over here 
and this point will be moved to the left minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and 1 unit up so this will be new location of the three points of the triangle and now we can draw we can join these points basically by drawing lines and we will get the translated triangle and after joining we got this triangle this is the translated triangle in this case third part is saying triangle a after the transformation that is represented by the matrix 0 1 and 1 0 <clears throat> and you know this is x is equal to y line and x is equal to y line is this one x is equal to y mean minus 2 and minus 2 and you can take this 2 and 2 point and join this with the ruler so this is the line so we have to reflect triangle A by this about this mirror line so we can check from this one also like uh, how many units this is so we can check this is the mirror line so from here half and one diagonally one unit and half unit this point is away from this line similarly half and one so we can reach over here so this point will be mirrored over here similarly you can check from here how many points this line is away from so if you check from here so this is this is the point for this so one and two units this will be point over here and this point will be over here one two three four one two three four units so our mirror transformation will be this one i'll tell you the easier way also if you want the alternative one with the tracing paper we can easily show the uh, the this one this transformation mirror transformation i will use this piece of tracing paper so what we can do we can draw this triangle which we want to reflect about this line so i will draw this line as well so after that we can reflect for reflection we will be inverting this and if you check this is exactly fitting on our triangle which we formed so this is our alternative way to uh, reflect this triangle by use of uh, tracing paper question number three Sushila Ravi and Talika each have a bag uh, of balls each of the bags contain 10 red balls and 8 blue balls S uh, Sushila takes a one ball at random from her bag find the probability that she takes a red ball so red or 10 out of 18 so it will be 10 over 18 or you can simplify to 5 by 9 also b part ravi takes two balls at random from his bag without replacement so this is important without replacement so we can take the option like for example first bag can be red first ball can be red and second ball can be blue or it can be another option which is first ball will be blue and second ball will be red so for probability for getting red ball will be 10 out of 18 and because we are not replacing without replacement we are drawing the second ball also so second ball uh, is blue for probability for blue is 8 but the total number of balls are not 
18 these are now 17 so we'll be multiplying these two probabilities and the second option can be that first ball is blue which is 8 over 18 because total is 18 and this red ball will be having 10 probability out of 17 because this is one less so we'll multiply these two and we have to add these probabilities also so if we multiply these will be 80 over 153 you can multiply with the calculator and then add it will be 80 over 153 so answer is 80 over 153 <coughs> C part Talika takes three balls at random from her bag without replacement again without replacement so for each draw the total number of balls will be reducing by one so calculate the probability that three balls are the same color so same color can be red red and red or the other option is blue blue and blue there is no third option because balls are of red color and blue color so probability for first red ball is 10 out of 18 and second probability will be one less because one red is gone which is not replaced according to the condition of the question so total will be 17 and third draw will be also red so 8 out of 16 we are reducing one ball at each, at each draw now for blue it can be 8 over 18 because total number of blue balls are 8 and total balls are 18 and after first draw so it will be 7 out of 17 and 6 out of 16 so we can multiply these two and then add this will be equal to 11 over 51 so 11 over 51 Question number four, the diagram shows an incomplete scale drawing of marketplace ABCD where D is on CX somewhere here. So the scale is one centimeter represents five meters. So this is the question D lies on CX such that angle DAB is equal to 75 degrees angle DAB so DAB we have to draw as 75 degrees so angle will be at A so we will fix this over here protector we are placing over here 75 degrees so this is the zero line and this is 70 and this point will be 75 so now we can extend this one so I will lower it a little so that you can see so from this point to this point we can join this so this will be point D so our D point is over here. Find the actual length B part is find the actual length of the side BC of the marketplace. So actual length we can measure this uh, BC and we and multiply it with the scale factor which is five. So length is nine point five into 5 this will be equal to 47.5 so we can write answer as 47.5 c part in this part use a ruler and ruler and compasses only street sellers are allowed in the part of the marketplace that is more than 35 meters from A more than 35 meters from A by same scale 
we will be converting 35 so 35 will be divided by 35 we can divide by 5 so it will be 7 so 7 centimeters we have to open the compass and 7 centimeters we will be taking measurement 7 centimeter over here now it is exactly 7 centimeter and we will place over A so and draw an arc like this one 7 centimeter we have drawn the arc now more than 35 meters from A and nearer to C than so nearer to C than B we can draw nearer to B than C basically we have to we have to draw line by sector so we will open more than half a little more than half and make arc upper side and lower side and make arc over here and also over here so these two arcs so I will show you the arcs these are the arcs which we have made and now we will be joining these points of intersection of the arcs so these are the points of intersection of the arcs so we can draw even we can draw a line over here so we got this point then nearer to CD than BC nearer to CD than BC so this side is CD uh, this side is CD and this side is BC so we need uh, angle bisector of this one so we can draw angle bisector with this one so we'll make an arc after making arc we will be dividing this into two portions so we will get this point of intersection and now we will join this point of intersection with the point C and if I move a little more so C to this point like this one okay so this is the complete drawing which we have done and next they are saying on the drawing construct and shade the region where street sellers are allowed so street sellers are basically allowed uh, more than 35 not in this region so they are allowed outer to outer to this region not inner side of this one and then nearer to C than B nearer to C than B it means not in this region in this area and then C D nearer to C D than B C so nearer to C D is this region so what we can do we can extend this line a little which is this divider line so this will be this will be drawn like this and so this is the region basically which is allowed for the street sellers so i will be shading the complete region which is which is allowed for them So if you check this region is 
is out of this one away from this 35 area then the second condition near to C then B so this region is near to C then B and then nearer to CD this is closer to CD than BC so this is the shaded region which is uh, satisfying all the conditions of the question <coughs> now write the scale of the drawing in the form 1 uh, ratio 500 so the scale give provided is 1 centimeter is to 5 meter 1 centimeter is to 5 meter so we can convert this 1 centimeter is to like this one also will convert into centimeters so this will be 500 centimeters so we can write here 500 question number 5 the table shows some values for this equation range is given a part complete the table we have to just replace these values of x in this equation and we will get the equation of y value of y and i will show you the one value and the rest you can calculate in similar way like for example 3 divided by 10 x raised to the power minus 3 so i will write minus 3 raised to the power 3 raised to the power 3 and minus 2 into value of x minus 3 so this will be equal to minus 2.1 so this is the way you will be calculating the rest of all the values i'll just copy the values minus 2.1 and if we replace minus 2 we will get 1.6 if we replace 1 we will get minus 1.7 and the last value if we replace 3 we will get 2.1 <coughs> so a part is done on the grid draw the graph of this one same values we have to plot we will take these uh, uh, pair of uh, values minus 3 and minus 3 and minus 2.1 so i will move this so minus 3 and minus 2.1 will be here so this will be the point i am putting cross and then second value is minus 2 and 1.6 1.5 and 6 so this will be the point and third is minus 1.5 and 2 so 1.5 and 2 will be this point then comes minus 1 and 1.7 will be this point then next value is 0 0 so origin next value is 1 and minus 1.7 minus 1.567 will be this one so we will put cross over here then 1.5 and minus 2 1.5 and minus 2 will be this point <coughs> then comes 2 and minus 1.6 1.5 and 1.6 will be this one then comes 3 and 2.1 3 and 2.1 will be this position now we have to <coughs> draw the graph smooth graph we will be drawing i'll remove the paper and draw the graph <coughs> so for a smoother graph we can draw curve like this over here then we'll be 
continuing the curve like this and passing through the origin standing next to this point and similarly we'll be curving it from the side as well and finally we have drawn almost smoother curve <coughs> so this is the curve which is required which we have drawn now next part is C part On the grid opposite, draw a suitable state line to solve this one. So this is basically the same value which is over here. So we can write y is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 minus x. 1 by 2 into 1 minus x which is this value. Now we will be... So just rearranging this in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. So y will be equal to, if we open this one, minus 1 by 2x plus 1 by 2. So value of y intercept is 1 by 2. We will check from the graph, y intercept will be 1 by 2. It means passing through this point. So this is 1 by 2 and <clears throat> gradient is minus 1 by 2. So we will take minus 1 by 2 gradient from this point. So m is equal to minus 1 by 2. So it will be 1 unit up, 1 unit rise and two units run so two will be um, one unit right so for gradient minus one by two we'll take from this point one unit up basically this is minus one so you will take minus one unit down this one and two units right will be this one so from this point we will be drawing a straight line so straight line will be intersecting the curve and if we draw straight line from this point and passing through this y intercept we will get this uh, straight line so <clears throat> it's intercepting the curve at two points one this one three points basically one two and three these three points these are the x values which we will be mentioning in this part c they are requiring three x values and if i'll show you the question which is uh, this one so three x values are required <clears throat> basically this is the c part which we have taken this equation as y, y is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 minus x and y is equal to, we have arranged this one, minus 1 by 2x plus 1 by 2 and the same equation we have plotted on this grid and this is the uh, point y intercept and we have taken the gradient which is negative and this is the line and from here we got 1, 2 and 3 points, we will be mentioning those three points and for those points we'll be mentioning only the x values and x value if you check from here minus uh, if you check minus 2.15 so i will write minus 2.15 and the second value is minus <coughs> minus 0 0.123 so I will write minus 0 0.3 and the third value which is uh, over here which is 2.123 so 2.3 these are the three values which are uh, required.
then d part for uh, this range equation this equal to 1 has n solutions so this is basically y y is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 will be this equation which this line which will be drawing y is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 will be this line which will be showing you we can show dotted line or solid line so i'm showing the dotted line so we can see that this dotted line is intersecting the the curve at three points one two and three so there are three solutions for y is equal to one so we can write here three question number six this diagram is given this diagram shows a company logo made for a uh, from a rectangle and a major sector of a circle the circle has center o and radius oa center o and radius oa this is 0 0.5 so it means this side will also be 0 0.5 and this is 1.5 so this side will also be 1.5 centimeters if this is 0 0.5 this will also be 0 0.5 so these are the numbers which are obvious so i've written that one so the circle has center o and radius oa oa is equal to od which is given 0 0.5 and ab is equal to 1.5 e is a point on oc such that oe is equal to 0 0.25 and angle oed o E D is right angle triangle this is 90 degree calculate the perimeter of the logo so perimeter we have to calculate we will consider the triangle O E D O E D basically we have all these sides but we don't have this um, sec uh, this one sector length basically major arc length we don't have for that and for that one we require this angle and we have to find this angle and then we'll be subtracting this one these two angles and we will get sector angle so in triangle o e d this is right angle triangle o e d this side is 0 0.25 this side hypotenuse is 0 0.5 and perpendicular is 0 0.25 so we can take e d basically e uh, e o e o over uh, o d or d o will be equal to sine of this angle sine theta so we can take this one as sine theta and <coughs> this implies theta will be equal to sine inverse 0 0.25 over 0 0.5 so we can check what will be this angle uh, shift inverse this is inverse sine um, point, 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.5 so this will be equal to 30 degree so this angle i'll show you the drawing okay this angle is 30 degree this one so this angle is 60 degree because this is right angle triangle this is 90 this is 30 so this is 60 degree this angle is 60 and this angle is 90 degree these two angles are adding up to 150 degree 90 plus 60 so 90 plus 60 is 150 so 360 is the total angle so 360 minus 150 will be 210 so this shows that this angle is 210 degrees so angle of the major arc we found is 210 degrees we can apply formula for the length of the uh, length of the arc which is l is equal to l is equal to theta over 360 theta over 360 into 2 pi r and we know theta is 210 over 
थ्री सिक्सटी इंटू टू पाई एंड आर रेडियस इज गिवन जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर सो दिस वन सो वी कैन यूज कैलकुलेटर टू सॉल्व दिस सो टू हंड्रेड टेन ओवर थ्री सिक्सटी मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू पाई एंड टू पाई इंटू आर विच इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव so this will be equal to सेवन by ट्वेल्व pi so I will write in pi format so that we will not be losing any uh, numbers so सेवन over ट्वेल्व pi the same now for the perimeter we have everything the major arc is सेवन over ट्वेल्व pi all the other sides given I can add वन पॉइंट फाइव प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव विच इज़ द रेडियस Again, one point five, which is the rectangle side, and plus zero point five. So, if we add this, seven over twelve pi plus one point five, plus point five, plus one point five, plus point five. So, this is equal to five point eight three, five point eight three. So, I can. Mention answer over here five point eight three centimeters. B part is calculate the area of the logo. So area of the logo we can find because uh, we have these two shapes. One is rectangle, the other one is uh, sector. So rectangle is easier. We will multiply these two. So there are two shapes. One is rectangle. For rectangle, we'll be multiplying zero point five into one point five, and this will be zero point seven five. And for uh, sector, we can apply area of the sector will be equal to theta over three sixty into pi r square, pi r squared. So theta we know is two hundred ten. So two hundred ten over three sixty into pi. Into R is zero point five radius, zero point five squared. So we can calculate by using calculator. So this will be two hundred ten divided by three sixty uh, multiply by multiply by pi. So this will be pi, and into point five. This will be squared, so e this is equal to seven over forty-eight pi. So seven over forty-eight pi. I'm taking in terms of pi. So so now we have to add this and this. So I will write here seven over forty-eight pi plus zero point seven five. So right here. Plus zero point seven five. This will be equal to one point two. This is basically one point two zero eight one. So I will write one point two one. C part. A mathematically similar logo uh, is drawn. The area of this logo is seventy seven point four four. So they are talking about area of this. Calculate the radius of the major sector in this logo. So we know that ratio between areas of similar shape is taken as k square. K square will be equal to seventy seven point four four, and the area which we just found uh, find in the uh, part one, we can divide it by one point two one. So this will be equal to. This will be. We can use calculator to solve this. So seventy-seven point four four divided by one point two one will be equal to sixty-four. So k square will be sixty-four, and k will be equal to. We can take under root of the answer, and this will be equal to eight. So value of k is eight. We can multiply. the 
radius because we need to find the radius so radius is multiplied by 8 so 8 into 0 0.5 will be equal to 4 so answer will be 4 a gold model is made this model is a prism a cross section of area this one the gold model model is 15 mm thick so thickness is given cross section area is also given so we can multiply 77.44 will be multiplied by cross cross uh, this one thickness which is 15 but this is millimeters so we'll have to convert into centimeters we'll be dividing by 10 10 mm will be equal to one centimeter then they are saying one cubic centimeter of gold has a mass of 19 grams so we have to calculate for for all this so multiply by 19 but this is in grams we need in kilograms so we will divide this by 1000 so we can use calculator to solve this so 77.44 um, 77.44 multiply by 15 divided by 10 into 19 divided by 1000 so this will be equal to 2.20 so 2.20 will be the answer kilograms 2.20 Question number seven, A part, 20 students each record the mass P grams of their pencil case. The table below shows the results. So they have given this table, frequency and mass. Calculate an estimate of the mean mass. So we will be taking middle of this range. So 50 plus 0 will be 25 and we will multiply by 2 we'll put in brackets plus middle of these two will be 75 75 multiplied by 5 plus middle of these two 112.5 multiplied by 4 plus middle of these two values will be 137 137.5 multiply by multiply by 6 and then the last one will be 100 and middle point will be 175 so 175 multiplied by 3 and this will be divided by the sum of this one which is 20 sum of frequencies which is 20 so if we calculate this by the calculator we can uh, calculate this 25 we'll put brackets 25 into 2 and plus 75 into 5 plus 112.5 into 4 mm, we'll have to put bracket over here which we missed so this is the bracket then 112.5 into 4 plus 137 137.5 multiply by 6 bracket close plus 175 uh, multiply by 3 so this will be equal to this one and divided by 20 will be equal to 111.111.25 use the frequency table above to complete the cumulative frequency table so p cumulative frequency table we will get from here so from 0 to 50 is 2 and less than 100 will be this plus this which is 2 plus 5 which is 7 and less than 125 will be these three values we will add these three values and we will get 11 then less than 150 will be 6 plus 4 10 plus 7 so 17 and less than 200 or 20 which is already given 
पार्ट थ्री स्टूडेंट इज चूज एट रैंडम फाइंड द प्रोबिलिटी दैट दिस स्टूडेंट हैज अ पेंसिल केस विद अ मैथ ग्रेटर देन वन फिफ्टी ग्राम सो ग्रेटर देन वन फिफ्टी ग्राम इज दिस वैल्यू विच इज थ्री विच इज ग्रेटर देन थ्री ग्रेटर देन वन फिफ्टी सो थ्री आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी सो प्रोबिलिटी विल बी थ्री आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी सो द प्रोबिलिटी विल बी थ्री बाई ट्वेंटी पी पार्ट सम स्टूडेंट्स ईच रिकॉर्ड द मैथ एम किलोग्राम ऑफ देयर स्कूल बैग आदिल वॉन्ट्स टू ड्रॉ हिस्टोग्राम टू शो दिस इंफॉर्मेशन सो दिस फर्स्ट पार्ट इज कम्प्लीट द फर्स्ट कॉलम इज कम्प्लीटेड फॉर आर हेल्प सो विल हैव टू यूटिलाइज दिस कॉलम हाउ वी कैन डू दिस वी कैन विल हैव टू बेसिकली फाइंड फर्स्ट द स्केल फैक्टर एंड स्केल फैक्टर विल बी दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी थर्टी टू divided by uh, this one class width which is 4 minus 0 so frequency divided by class width which is frequency density into scale factor it will be equal to this um, height 1.6 height of the bar of histogram so if we simplify this scale factor will be equal to 1.6 multiply by this 4 because 4 minus 0 will be 4 so it will be uh, shifted to the side as numerator divided by 32 if we calculate this uh, this will be equal to uh, 1.6 into 4 divided by 32 will be equal to 1 by 5 so scale factor will be 1 by 5 so this scale factor will be utilizing to find these two values so by using the same method this will be <coughs> this is basically this value we don't have so for example say value is x this value which we have to find is x divided by class width which is 6 minus 4 uh, multiply by this scale factor which we know is 1 by 5 so we can utilize this scale factor 1 by 5 will be equal to this height which is 2 so we can solve this one x will be equal to this 2 multiply by this 5 and multiply by 6 minus 4 so this will be equal to we will calculate this and this one is 2 multiply by 5 and then multiply by 6 minus 4 this will be equal to 20 so we can write here 20 value which is this one next one is this value which is again we'll use the same technique x over class width which is 7 minus 6 into 1 by 5 is equal to 1.2 so x will be equal to 1.2 multiplied by 5 into 7 minus 6 which is 1 so we'll write here 1 if we calculate this so 1.2 multiplied by 5 into 1 will be equal to 6 so this 6 value we will be putting over here c part the frequency table below shows information about the number of books read by some students in a reading marathon so number of uh, books read and uh, frequency is also given but this value is x which we have to find the mean number of books read is 4.28 so find the value of x so we will multiply these values for example all these values will be multiplying with each other and then dividing it by the total number of fre uh, frequency so if we multiply 1 with 2 we'll get 2 plus this one 2 into 2 will be 4 plus 16 into 3 will be 48 plus 4 into 10 will be 40 plus 5 into 9 will be 45 plus 6 into 4 will be 24 plus 7 multiplied by x will be 7x 8 into 2 will be 16 so and divided by Uh, this one uh, total of frequency if we add this with the calculator we can add 
2 plus 2 plus 16 plus 10 plus 9 plus 4 plus 2 which is equal to 45 so 45 plus this x so we write 45 plus x this is equal to 4.28 which is given which is the mean value so now just we have to solve this equation so if we sum up all these values this will be 179 plus 7x uh, over uh, 45 plus x will be equal to 4.28 and by cross multiplication 179 plus 7x will be equal to 4.28 into 45 plus x now we can um, open the brackets this will be 179 plus 7x is equal to 4.28 4.28 multiplied by 45 so this will be equal to 192.6 so 192.6 plus 4.28 x now we can solve here so 7 x we will be will be shifting this x to this side so 7 x plus 4.28 x will be equal to 192.6 minus 179 so we can add these values 4.28 plus 7 will be 11.28 so 11.28 x will be equal to 192.6 minus 179 this will be equal to 13.6 so this is 13.6 x will be equal to 13.6 divided by 11.28 this is basically when we shift this uh, this one when we, we shift 4.28 to the other side so this will be uh, minus so we will use this we'll have to rectify this one this is minus so 7 x minus 7 minus 4.28 will be equal to 2.72 so I will change this value as well so this will be 2.72 2.72 and this value will also be 2.72 so this one 2.72 we can now divide 13.6 divided by 2.72 so this will be equal to 5 so answer will be 5 second part right on the mode most occurring uh, is uh, the maximum uh, number frequencies for number 3 so we will write here 3 which is the most occurring now median for median we will be uh, checking the 45 plus 5 because uh, x is equal to 5 so frequency we found x is equal to 5 so 45 is the remaining frequency and x is 5 so 45 plus 5 is the total frequency and total frequency divided by 2 will be equal to 25th um, 25th term and so 25th term if we check from the table 25th term will be in this this one 4 will be the 25th term if you check from here 20 and 25th will be in this term so it will be 4 question number 8 f of x is given 3 over x plus 2 g of x is also given h of x is also given so work out g of 1 by 4 so this is g so we'll take this one g of x instead of x we'll write 1 by 4 is equal to 8 into 1 by 4 minus 5 so uh, we can cancel this one for uh, basically instead of cancelling better to use calculator so 8 into 
1 divided by 4 will be minus 5. This will be equal to minus 5. Basically, we will have to put bracket over here. So, it will be like this one. So, 5 is equal to minus 3. So, this will be minus 3. Work out f of f of 2. So, f of 2, first we will find f of 2. And f of 2 will be equal to 3 over 2 plus 2. We will place in this one. So, this will be 3 by 4. Now, we will find f of 3 by 4. So, f of 3 by 4 will be equal to 3 over 3 by 4 plus 2. And we can use calculator to solve this 3 3 over 3 by 4 and plus 2 so this is 12 by 11 or we can write 12 by 11 or we can write in mixed fraction also one whole one by one whole one by eleven can also be written <clears throat> c part find g of g of x g of x is given so g of x is equal to 8x minus 5 so g of g of x basically we will write like this. So, this will be equal to wherever x, we will replace it with 8x minus 5. So, 8 into 8x minus 5 and minus 5. So, we will open bracket. This will be 64x minus 40 minus 5. So, this will be equal to 64x minus 45 and we can write here 64x minus 45. Then find g inverse of x, g inverse of x, we can write first g of x which is y is equal to 8x minus 5 and we will have to make x a subject. So, uh, we will shift uh, y minus, this will be plus 5 and divided by 8, this will be value of x. Now, we can swap x and y, so y will be equal to x plus 5 over 8 which will be the answer so x plus 5 over 8 then comes e part write g of x minus f of x so g of x we know is 8x minus 5 in brackets and minus f of x we know is 3 over x plus 2 which is these two are the given values which I am utilizing and here we can take LCM over 1 and LCM will be x plus 2 and this one we will multiply this 8x minus 5 with this one x plus 2 and minus 3. So, now we can simplify this. We can multiply these uh, two things. Look, so 8x with x. So, it will be 8x square plus 16x, 8x with 2. So, 16x and minus 5 with x, so minus 5x, and minus 5 with 2, minus 10, and minus 3 divided by x plus 2. <clears throat> now, this one we can simplify 8, 8x squared because there is only one 8x squared, so then uh, 16 minus 5x will be plus 11x and minus 13 divided by x plus 2. There is no further simplification possible. So, this will be our answer. 8x square plus 11x minus 13 divided by x plus 2. F part uh, show that h of g of x is equal to 19 simplifies to this one. So, we will write g of x, h of g of x basically and g of x we know is 8 x minus 5. So, h of 8x minus 5, this will be equal to, we will have to take square 8x minus 5 whole square plus 6. This will be the value and they have told us that this is equal to 
19 so we'll put equal to 19 we'll take this side and we'll solve uh, square we can open by this formula a minus b square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 a b or you can multiply uh, 8x minus 5 with 8x minus 5 as you like you can use these two approaches so i will go for this quadratic uh, this uh, formula so this will be a square mean 8x square means 64x square plus b square mean 5 square so 25 minus 2ab so 10 into 8 will be 80x and plus 6 uh, plus 6 will be this one and minus i will shift 19 also to this side so equal to 0 so this will be 64x square minus 80x i'm uh, changing the sequence so this will be plus 25 plus 6 so 25 plus 6 minus 19 this will be equal to 12 so 12 is equal to 0 so we can <coughs> Um, divide by 4 so uh, we can take 4 common and it will be 16x square minus 20x plus 3 is equal to 0 4 is not equal to 0 4 is not equal to 0 so this implies 16x square minus 20x plus 3 is equal to 0 which is the required proof second part use the quadratic formula to solve this so we have to use quadratic formula because it's the requirement of the question and show all you are working and give your answer correct to two decimal places so we know quadratic formula x is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac 4ac over 2a this is the quadratic formula so we'll be replacing values in this minus b or a value we we'll write down the values a is equal to 16 b is equal to minus 20 and c is equal to 3 so i'll be using these values minus b this one plus minus b square so minus 20 always replace in brackets so minus 20 square minus 4 a is 16 and c is 3 so we replace the values and then over 2 into a which is 16 so now we can simplify by using calculator so minus in brackets basically we can use first this one so minus in brackets minus 20 and bracket close then plus i will use first then root and bracket minus 20 squared and minus 4 uh, 16 into 3 so 16 and 3 also in brackets and this one will be 2 into 16 which is 32 so i'll write 32 and this is giving us the value which is 1.075 so i will write 1.08 and now we can change the negative value for negative value we will be going to this one and we have to change this to negative value and this is equal to 0 0.17 so 0 0.17 Question number 9, the Venn diagram is given and we have to answer these questions. Use set notation to complete the statement D, D is in this set A, so we'll say D belongs to A and F, F and G, F and G is in the intersection of A and B, so it is equal to intersection of A and B. Complete the statement. Uh, n of uh, a set is equal to 6 what is that set 1 2 3 4 5 6 so n of b is equal to 6 so we'll write here b 
it's easy question one mark each part so this is the last part in the venn diagram below shade c intersection d complement <clears throat> d complement is whatever not in d not in d is c this portion of c and this outer portion of d and complement with c will be this one so we can shade this portion this will be the answer to this question we can erase the outer portion so this will be answer to part b c part 50 students study at least one of the subjects geography mathematics and history this is the information given 18 students only mathematics 18 study only mathematics 19 study two or three of these subjects 23 study geography so when diagram is given show that x is equal to 4 so we will focus on this information first which is 19 19 student study two or three so two or three is this portion basically this is the portion which is two or three so this portion which is intersection of all these is equal to 19 so if we add all these things so 7 plus x x x so it will be 7 plus 3x so we can write 3x plus 7 is equal to 19 which is the information provided which is 19 so if we simplify 3x is equal to 19 minus 7 which is equal to 12 so x is equal to 12 by 3 which is equal to 4 so this is what we have to show x is equal to 4 which we have shown then we have to second part is complete the venn diagram so to complete the venn diagram so we'll go again to venn diagram and we know that uh, <clears throat> this portion which we have uh, already done which is x is equal to 4 it means <clears throat> this is 4 and this is also 4 this is 4 and 18 study mathematics only only mathematics is 18 so this is 18 this information we can copy over here and 23 study geography so geography uh, 23 so 8 plus 7 will be 15 15 plus 8 will be 23 now um, total uh, students 50 students total so if we add up all these this will be 45 so um, 45 plus 5 will be 50 so we'll write here 5 so answer to this one we have already done this venn diagram completed then third part is use set notation to complete this statement so g union m g union m union h complement g so it means g union m union h so all of this all of this mean this all shaded portion this one complement complement here it is complement so complement mean whatever not included in this shaded part so everything all numbers are in this shaded part nothing is outside side this shaded part so we will write in set notation form this will be phi so we will write here phi which means empty set and find n of g intersection m union h first of all we have to take m union h which will be I will erase this section so m union h will be this portion m union h and g g union m basically this one g intersection this is g intersection with this part so common is this portion so um, 
I will remove the uncommon one this one basically for this fourth part they require only this shaded portion so this portion and this portion is required which is 4 plus 4 plus 7 which is 8 plus 7 which is 15 so I will write here 15 question number 10 solve the simultaneous equation so we have to show working also so if we check the coefficients of x this is 6 and 5 so we'll have to multiply first equation by 5 and second equation by 6 to equalize the coefficients of x so we'll multiply first equation by 5 so it will be 30x 30x plus 25y 25y is equal to 27 into 5 so 27 into 5 will be 135 so we'll write here 135 now second equation we'll have to multiply by 6 so this will be 30x and minus 18y is equal to 44 into 6 44 multiplied by 6 will be equal to 264 so this will be 264 now we can subtract and change sign so this will be cancelled this is 18 plus 2 will be 20y is equal to 135 135 minus 2 64 will be equal to minus 129 minus 129 so y will be equal to minus 129 divided by 20 so minus 129 divided by 20 will be equal to minus uh, um, 6 point basically we have done mistake over here so this was basically 25 we have written only 5 so this will be 25 minus 25 minus 18 which is equal to 7 so this will be 7 so I will rectify this error so this will be equal to 7 and this will be 129 divided by minus 129 divided by 7 this will be equal to um, again basically okay basically this is the addition so 25 plus 18 will be equal to 43 so this is basically 43 so this will be divided by 43 and we can write minus 129 divided by 43 will be equal to minus 3 so y value is minus 3 we can write here minus 3 and x value we can replace this value in any of these two equations i'm replacing in equation 1 so 6x plus 5 into minus 3 is equal to 27 so 6x is equal to 27 this will be minus 15 so this side will be plus 15 so 6x is equal to 27 plus 15 27 plus 15 is equal to 42 so x will be equal to 42 divided by 6 which is equal to 7 so we will write here 7 <coughs> then b part y is inversely proportional to y is inversely proportional to this one x plus 3 square so we'll our equation will be this one so we can write constant y is equal to k over x plus 3 squared and they have given find y this one when x is equal to 2 y is equal to 8 so 8 is equal to k over x value is 2 so we will replace 2 plus 3 whole square so this will be k is equal to uh, this will be 5 5 25 so 8 multiplied by 25 will be equal to 25 multiplied by 8 will be equal to 200 so k value is 200 so our equation comes to y is equal to 200 over 
x plus 3 squared. So they are saying find y. y we have to find when x is equal to 7. So 200 over 7 plus 3 squared. So this will be 200 over 10 squared will be 100. So this is equal to 2. C parts all the inequality this is given. So we will just open 3x minus 6 is less than 7x plus 14. So we can shift everything x to this side. So 7x minus 3x is greater than minus 6 minus 14. So this will be minus 20 is less than 4x. So we can divide by 4. So this will be x is greater than minus 5. So answer will be x is greater than minus 5. Question number 11. The table shows the first five terms of the sequence. So we have to complete the table. We'll check the difference of these two terms. This is 6, then 10. The next difference is 14. And this one is uh, 20, 18, basically. And now the difference between fifth term and sixth term will be 22. So... 55 plus 22 will be 77. Similarly, if we check this one, this is 3 raised to the power 0, 3 raised to the power 1, 3 raised to the power 2, 3 raised to the power 3, 3 raised to the power 4, and this will be 3 raised to the power 5. And 3 raised to the power 5 will be equal to uh, 243. So here will be 243. Then find the nth term of the sequence A. If we check sequence, this is first order difference is not same. Second order difference will be same, which is 2. So 2n square plus 5. This will be the um, answer to this one. 2n square plus 5. And sequence B, for sequence B, we know that 3 raised to power n minus 1. So 3 raised to power n minus 1 will be the answer to this. Basically, B part, the nth term of another sequence is give this one, find the second term. So we will replace n is equal to 2 in this one. So 4 into uh, 2 square plus 2 plus 3, which is equal to 21. So this will be 21. Similarly, the value of n when the nth term is 498. So we will use the same uh, given equation, which is over here. 4n square plus n plus 3 which is equal to 498 we can uh, simplify this uh, 4n square plus n minus 4, 498 is equal to 0 so this is the quadratic equation which we can solve by quadratic formula also so minus b plus minus b square b square 1 square minus 4 into a into c minus 498 over 2a which is 4 so this will be the value of n so we can use the calculator to find this value if we type this one so minus 1 plus uh, under root 1 squared minus 4 into 4 will be 16 and into minus 4 98 bracket close over uh, 2a 2a will be 8 so 4 into 2 will be 8 this will be equal to 11.03 so i will write 11 